Howdy folks! Get ready to take a trip down memory lane as we dive into the world of Pride and Prejudice like never before. Today we're on a mission to uncover the fascinating transformations of the beloved cast members. From their iconic roles on the show to the present year of 2023, we will have the entire cast of Then and Now, and I will be revealing all the juicy details about the original names of the characters, how the actors have changed since then. All right, grab your popcorn and let's check it out together. Colin Firth as Mr. Darcy. When Colin Firth took on the role of Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice, little did he know that life would imitate art as a romance blossomed between him and his co-star, Jennifer L. Although their relationship didn't stand the test of time, the role catapulted Colin to stardom, eventually leading to his iconic portrayal of Mark Darcy in the Bridget Jones film series. In the years following, Colin Firth has ventured into both romantic comedies, with memorable roles in Love Actually and Mamma Mia, and compelling dramas such as The King's Speech and A Single Man. Now at the age of 63, he boasts in a remarkable array of acting awards, an honorary doctorate from Winchester University, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and a CBE. Colin's personal life has seen its share of changes. In 2019, he separated from his wife of 22 years, Italian TV producer Livia Giugioli, with whom he shares two children. It later emerged that during a brief separation, Livia had an affair with journalist Marco Brancaccia. This situation took a contentious turn when she accused Marco of harassment through phone calls and messages allegations he vehemently denied. Jennifer L. as Elizabeth Bennett. Jennifer L.'s portrayal of Elizabeth Bennett in Pride and Prejudice earned her the prestigious Best Actress Award at the 1996 BAFTA TV Awards and paved the way for a thriving film career. Beyond the realm of classic literature adaptations, her talent shone in various roles. Following her success in Pride and Prejudice, Jennifer reunited with her former co-star, Colin Firth, in The King's Speech in 2010, showcasing her versatility in both period pieces and contemporary dramas. She further solidified her presence in Hollywood with notable appearances in films like The Ides of March, Zero Dark Thirty, and The Blacklist. Notably, Jennifer stepped into the world of the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy as Carla Wilkes, the mother of the story's protagonist, Anastasia Steele. With two Tony Awards to her name, Jennifer L.'s career has been marked by accolades and memorable performances. While briefly cast in Game of Thrones, her commitment to acting remains unwavering, with recent roles in projects like the highly acclaimed Me Too-themed film She Said. Susanna Harker as Jane Bennett since her portrayal of Jane Bennett, Susanna Harker has found considerable success in the realm of television, notably in series like Grant Chester, Midsummer Murders, and New Tricks. These roles have solidified her reputation as a talented actress. Now at the age of 58, Susanna's personal life has also garnered attention. She was previously married to Game of Thrones star Ian Glenn, who portrayed Sir Jorah Mormont. However, their relationship faced challenges amid allegations of infidelity. It was reported that Ian had an affair with Nicole Kidman while the two were performing in the risque West End production The Blue Room, a play that required them to share intimate scenes in the nude. Ian vehemently de denied the claims, maintaining that his relationship with the Australian actress was entirely professional. Subsequently, Susanna entered a relationship with Paul McGann, renowned for his portrayal of the eighth incarnation of Doctor Who in the 1996 series. Julia Sawala as Lydia Bennett Julia Sawala, known for her role as Lydia Bennett, happens to be the sister of Nadia Sawala, a well-known panelist on Loose Women. Following her appearance in Pride and Prejudice, Julia embarked on a notable journey in the world of entertainment. She gained recognition for her portrayal of Carla Borrego in the mystery drama series Jonathan Creek. However, one of her most iconic roles is that of Safi in the beloved series Absolutely Fabulous. Her last portrayal of this character was in the 2016 film adaptation of the series. 
In 2020, Julia made headlines when she expressed her frustration with Ardman Animations, the studio behind Chicken Run. They had decided to recast her character, Ginger, in the upcoming sequel for Netflix, allegedly citing her age as the reason. Julia, who is now 55, humorously quipped that she had been plucked, stuffed, and roasted, revealing that she was informed her voice now sounds too old for the role. Allison Stedman as Mrs. Bennett. Allison Stedman has a remarkable talent for portraying strong-willed matriarchs, as evident from her acclaimed performances as both Mrs. Bennett and Pam Shipman in Gavin and Stacy. At 77 years old, her acting career boasts a wide array of television shows, including notable appearances in The Singing Detective, Fat Friends, and Orphan Black. She also graced the screen in the 2016 adaptation of Dad's Army. In recognition of her exceptional acting prowess, Alison Stedman was awarded the Order of the British Empire. In a Channel 4 poll of the 50 greatest actors in 2007, she secured the 42nd spot, a testament to her talent and respect among fellow thespians. Beyond the world of entertainment, Allison is an avid bird watcher, and in 2016 she became an ambassador for the London Wildlife Trust, reflecting her commitment to wildlife conservation. Benjamin Whitrow as Mr. Bennett Benjamin Whitrow's portrayal of the grumpy Mr. Bennett earned him a BAFTA TV Award nomination for Best Actor. Beyond this iconic role, he graced other television shows, leaving his mark in series like Midsummer Murders, Inspector Morse, and New Tricks. Notably, he lent his voice to the character Fowler in the original Chicken Run movie. Benjamin Whitrow, who was married to Catherine Cook for over five decades until his passing in 2017, had a unique and secretive arrangement with his friend, actress Celia Imry. In her 40s, they made a pact that they, he would father her child before it was too late, although he would not be involved in raising their son, Angus. Despite this unconventional agreement, Celia described Benjamin as a wonderful father after his demise. The actor's final contribution to the world of film was in the Winston Churchill war drama, Darkest Hour, released in January 2018, just four months after his passing at the age of 80. Crispin Bonham Carter as Mr. Bingley Crispin Bonham Carter, known for his role as Charles Bingley, is the brother of renowned actress Helena Bonham Carter. However, he eventually decided to transition from acting to a teaching career. Following his appearance in Pride and Prejudice, Crispin was notably seen in an adaptation of Wuthering Heights and popular series like Absolutely Fabulous, ER, and Rosemary and Time. He also made cameo appearances in films such as Bridget Jones's Diary and took on the role of a doctor in the James Bond film Casino Royale. At the age of 53, Crispin left the world of acting to pursue a career in teaching. He taught English and classics until 2019, when he assumed the role of assistant head at a school in Barnet. Polly Maberly as Kitty Bennett Polly Maberly portrayed the character Kitty Bennett in the adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. Her extensive theater experience includes performances in the British production of the Browning version and her portrayal of characters in Hedda Gabler. In the late 1990s, she pursued her acting education at the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. It's worth noting that her younger sister, Kate Maverly, took on a prominent role in the 1993 film adaptation of Frances Hodgson's Burnett's beloved classic, The Secret Garden. Lucy Briars as Mary Bennett. The daughter of The Good Life star Richard Briars, Lucy, took on the role of Mary Bennett and has since made her mark as Sierra Lannister in HBO's House of the Dragon. At 56 years old, the talented actress has graced the screens in various TV series, from the sci-fi classic Red Dwarf to detective drama Endeavor, the medical world of Casualty, and the police procedural The Bill. Lucy also made notable appearances in the 2013 BBC hit Our Girl alongside Lacey Turner, the comedic Jim, Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa, and the superhero epic Zack Snyder's Justice League. Reflecting on her journey five years ago, Lucy opened up about the profound impact of her father's passing in 2013. 
describing how it left her deeply affected and unable to watch his films. Anna Chancellor as Miss Bingley Anna Chancellor is a British actress known for her role as Miss Bingley in the 1995 television adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. Since then, her career has included various film, television, and stage roles. Chancellor has appeared in numerous films, including Four Weddings and a Funeral, 1994, where she played the memorable character Henrietta. She also portrayed Lady Honoria Dedlock in the 2005 adaptation of Charles Dickinson's Bleak House. Her versatility has led her to participate in a wide range of projects, from period dramas to contemporary films and TV series. Additionally, Anna Chancellor has had a strong presence in the theater world. Her stage performances have earned critical acclaim, and she continues to be a prominent figure in British theater. Overall, Anna Chancellor's career has been marked by her talent and versatility, allowing her to excel in various roles across different mediums. Amelia Fox as Georgiana Darcy Georgiana Darcy holds a significant place in the family tree of Jane Austen's beloved characters. She's the younger sister of Fitzwilliam Darcy, who happens to be 12 years her senior. Born to the late Mr. Darcy and Lady Anne, Georgiana is part of a distinguished lineage that includes her aunt, Lady Catherine de Boer, who holds the title of an earl. In the early 2000s, Fox's romantic life saw her engaged to comedian Vic Reeves and later involved with Toby Mott. However, her most notable relationship during this period was with British actor Jared Harris, the son of renowned Irish actor Richard Harris. The two tied the knot in July 2005, but sadly their marriage faced challenges that ultimately led to separation in 2008. Their long-distance relationship and her 2007 workshop were contributing factors and Harris initiated divorce proceedings in January 2009. Following her split from Harris, Fox found love once more, this time with actor Jeremy Gilley. Their relationship took a significant turn when, in May 2010, it was revealed that Fox was expecting their child. In November 2010, she gave birth to a daughter named Rose. However, Fox and Gilley's relationship eventually came to an end in 2011. In the subsequent years, Fox's romantic journey continued with relationships that included chef Marco Pierre White from 2012 to 2016 and Luke Chowdhury from 2019 to 2020. More recently, she has found marital bliss with TV producer Jonathan Stadlin. Alongside her personal life, Fox has dedicated her time and efforts to philanthropy, serving as a patron for various causes such as the Environmental Justice Foundation, advocating for an environmental and human rights, and supporting Drug Fam, a charity focused on drug, alcohol, and gambling addiction. Lucy Robinson as Mrs. Hurst. Louisa Hurst is a spouse of Mr. Hurst, sharing a familial connection as the sibling of both Charles and Caroline Bingley. Within the context of this intricate social web, she also assumes the role of sister-in-law to Jane Bennett. Lucy Robinson's versatile acting career spans various platforms, from the small screen to the stage and even voice acting. Notably, she portrayed Frau Clovis, the efficient secretary, to the Duke of Manhattan in the Doctor Who episode New Earth and brought the character of Mrs. Elton to life in the 1996 TV adaptation of Emma. Her talent also graced an episode of The IT Crowd in which she portrayed a prospective employer for Jen. Furthermore, she ventured into the realm of British soap operas with a role as Harriet Burgess in EastEnders and made an appearance in a single episode of the BBC TV children's series Powers. Transitioning to the big screen, Robinson portrayed Janie in Bridget Jones' The Edge of Reason and Judith in The Best Exotic Mary Go Gold Hotel. Her stage presence was equally noteworthy, particularly in her 2014 role as Liz, one of the two versions of Queen Elizabeth II in Moira Buffini's play, Handbagged. As a voice actor, she lent her talents to characters like Lydia Gwilt in Wilkie Collins' Armadale. Lucy Robinson's connection to the entertainment world doesn't stop at her career. She hails from a family rooted in the industry, with her father being a renowned journalist and presenter, Robert Robinson. In her personal life, she is married to actor Nicholas Murchie, forming a dynamic duo both on and off the stage and screen. David Bamber as Mr. Collins. 
Simon Bamber has left a lasting mark in the world of entertainment, showcasing his acting prowess on various fronts. His television roles have been particularly diverse, ranging from playing a junior treasury minister and stamp collecting enthusiast, Julian Whitaker, in an episode of The New Statesman, to his international acclaim as Marcus Tullius Cicero in the HBO BBC2 series Rome. Notably, he also took on the role of Adolf Hitler in Brian Singer's film Valkyrie and portrayed Admiral Ramsey in the 2017 film Darkest Hour. His talents extended to stage acting, where he earned the 1995 Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actor for his compelling portrayal of Guy in My Night with Reg, later reprising the role in a 1996 BBC television adaptation. Simon Bamber's vocal skills also found expression in voice acting, with roles like Emperor Constantine in the Doctor Who audio drama The Council of Nicaea, and Jeremy Longstaff in the 2008 radio series The Way We Live Right Now. In his personal life, Simon Bamber is married to actress Julia Swift, the daughter of actors David Swift and Paula Jacobs. Together they have two sons, Theo and Ethan, with Ethan gaining recognition for his cricket talent, representing England's U19s and Middlesex. The family's home is in North London, where they share their lives amidst the rich tapestry of the entertainment world. Lucy Davis as Maria Lucas. Maria Lucas holds the distinction of being the second daughter born to the esteemed Sir William and Lady Lucas. In her familial constellation, she shines as a younger sibling to Charlotte Lucas Collins, making her part of a close-knit sisterhood. Following her breakthrough portrayal of Dawn Tinsley in the acclaimed series The Office, Davis extended her reach into the world of cinema, gracing films like Sex Lives of the Potato Men and Shaun of the Dead in 2004. Davis's versatility as an actress has led her to various roles, including an appearance in the third season episode Elephants and Hens of the UK TV series Black Books. In 2006, she took on the persona of the fashion TV host on ABC's Ugly Betty and ventured into the world of NBC's Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, portraying Lucy Kenwright, a talented writer. In December 1997, Davis faced a kidney transplant after a diagnosis of kidney failure during a medical examination. Her mother generously donated the kidney, marking a pivotal moment in her life. In a subsequent health challenge, she was hospitalized around Christmas in 2005 due to kidney failure, but made a successful recovery. In addition to her kidney health journey, Davis has navigated the complexities of living with type 1 diabetes. On December 9, 2006, Davis celebrated her union with Welsh actor Oyen Yeoman in a memorable wedding at St. Paul's Cathedral, London. The wedding was attended by fellow The Office cast members and writers. Her father's status as an officer at the Order of the British Empire afforded her the privilege of marrying at St. Paul's Cathedral, which contains the Chapel of the Order. However, despite the promising start, the couple separated in January 2011 and finalized their divorce in October of the same year. In 2007, Davis boldly participated in a People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals campaign, posing nude to advocate for the cessation of the Guards Division's use of traditional bearskin caps. Marlene Sidaway as Hill Mrs. Hill dutifully serves as the esteemed housekeeper at the Grand Longbourn House, overseeing its daily operations with meticulous care. Amid the tumultuous scandal surrounding Lydia Bennett's rash elopement, Mrs. Bennett, Lydia's mother, finds solace in confiding her tumultuous emotions to Mrs. Hill, who serves as a compassionate listener and confidant during this trying time. In February 2013, Sidaway graced the stage in the role of Mrs. Purdy in the performance of D.H. Lawrence's The Daughter-in-Law at the prestigious Crucible Theatre in Sheffield, South Yorkshire. This engagement showcased her theatrical prowess and contributed to her rich acting repertoire. Fast forward to September 2015, and Sidaway assumed the character of Mrs. Wilberforce in the, a production of The Lady Killers at the Watermill Theatre in Bagnor Newberry, Berkshire. 
Her ability to bring diverse characters to life on stage continued to captivate audiences. In February 2018, she took on the role of Miriam in Ghassan Kanafani's Returning to Haifa at the Finborough Theatre in West Brompton, London. This marked another compelling chapter in her theatrical journey. Sidaway's commitment to the arts and her involvement as president of the International Brigade Memorial Trust, along with her personal interests and experiences, reflect the depth and breadth of her life beyond the spotlight. She's made her home in Stratford, London since 1983 and enjoys the simple pleasure of her daily walk to West Ham Park. Sidaway's life has been intertwined with history and the arts, a testament to her multifaceted and meaningful journey. Adrian Lucas as Wickham Adrian Lucas, known for portraying the charming but deceptive George Wickham, has left an indelible mark with his versatile acting career. While he may be remembered as Wickham, his extensive rec repertoire includes notable roles such as Sergeant Doug Wright in the long-running series The Bill and character Mark Thompson in Judge John Deed. Now at 66 years old, Lucas has continued to grace both the big and small screens with his talent. His credits include appearances in compelling productions like Anatomy of a Scandal, Death in Paradise, and the thought-provoking Black Mirror. Since 2013, he has embodied the character of Colonel Blair Toast in the Channel 4 series Toast of London. More recently, he took on the role of General Claude Auchinek in the BBC series SAS Rogue Heroes, showcasing his enduring dedication to the craft. In a particularly noteworthy endeavor, Lucas revisited his Pride and Prejudice roots in 2019 when he reprised his role as Mr. Wickham in the world premiere of the play being Mr. Wickham, demonstrating his enduring connection to this beloved classic. The cast of Pride and Prejudice from 1995. It's evident that these actors and actresses have continued to captivate audiences with their talent and versatility over the years. Whether it's through period dramas, contemporary series, or even revisiting their iconic roles, they left an enduring mark on the world of entertainment. We hope you've enjoyed this nostalgic look back at the cast and their remarkable transformations. If you have any favorite moments or actors from the film, feel free to share them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more exciting then and now journeys through our favorite films and TV shows. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, keep watching and stay tuned.